Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a freshly baked video. I'm your baker, k Pace Guy, and today we're going to talk about the Polk Cigna Solo right there, right there in front of us. This is the Polk Audio soundbar that you can get for around 88 bucks, 90 bucks, maybe even less if you search hard enough. So I picked one of these up because I've been I'm I've been eyeballing it for a while now and I wanted to see how it sounds. It's a sound bar that gives you surround sound with no satellite speakers, no subwoofer, and I'm wondering how is that possible? So what we're gonna do, since I have poke audio speakers all around my room there, I got the towers and the center channel. Since I'm familiar with poke audio and I actually like their products, I never heard any of their sound bars. So we're gonna go ahead and crack that box open for the first time together see what's inside, and then we're going to talk about how it sounds. soundbar, video soundbar, or any soundbar that seems pretty good. I'm going to throw it on the channel every once in a while just for the audience who's interested in that kind of thing. So we're going to crack this box open and see what comes in the package. Alright, so I have no idea what to expect. We're just going to go ahead and get it open here. I guess going from the top is the easiest way to do so. Let's go ahead and cut the top open nice and easy. Very cool. Down. Awesome. So you can see we have a pretty simplistic setup here. Right there, reading you in the box first is going to be that remote, and it looks like that optical cable. It does have optical in so that you can plug it up straight to anything that has optical out, your TV or whatever you're going to be using it with. That's what you're greeted here first. On the left side, you have your power cord here, big power brick and then you can plug it up straight to the sound bar there. There's no subwoofer, subwoofer or anything like that, so you're not gonna need any uh, other plugs or anything like that to plug it up with. Let's go ahead and try to get this out of the box here. Not too heavy at all. A good enough weight to make you think that it's made of good quality, but not too heavy for a sound bar. Let's go ahead and unwrap this thing really quickly. All right, so take it off the phone. Put that back in the box. Put that back in the box as well. All right, so this is taped on to the top there. All right, so inside here, of course, is that remote, as well as that optical cable that you get in the box. Let's go ahead and crack this open so we can take a look at that remote here. There's that optical cable there. All right, so that remote right here, I'll bring it to you guys here. There's the remote there. Let me get it to focus on it. Come on, come on. So here's the remote that you're greeted with right out of the box. You see what you have here. You got your power on and off with like a night mode. We'll have to test that out. Then we have the mute button here. Optical, aux, and Bluetooth. Those are your three options that you can use here. You have your volume up and down as well as your voice up and down. So I'm guessing you can kind of change the, bring the voices out, which it boasts on the box that it has a voice adjust. So I'm guessing that there. It's gonna bring out more voice when you're watching movies, a little more clarity. And then if you need a little more bass as well, you have that option as well. Of course, it's gonna be your seek um, back your play probably doubles as a pause button as well and then going to be your forward seeking track there Then you have three presets here. Of course self-explanatory if you're watching a movie You'll probably want it placed right there for a game will be there and then for music to be there So we're gonna listen to these here in a little bit and see which one sounds best um, For you know what you're gonna be listening to Not too bad at all on the remote pretty light plastic credit card size remote there. Not bad at all It should be fine Inside the bag, I believe is a manual, and it seems to be rather thick for a soundbar. So I'm guessing it's probably going to have multiple languages inside, and maybe a warranty card or so. But we're going to take a look at that. So you do just get this little card here. It tells you your benefits, what you can get um, if you sign up with Polk. 
all that good stuff. Here's the actual manual slash quick start guide here. Kind of tells you how to set things up, what things do. Um, should be pretty self-explanatory. Um, I'll probably go do those in a later video for you guys. Let's put that in the box as well. Now this is your wall mounting template. So if you are to mount this on a wall, you do have to, um, they do have keyholes on the back. It's gonna tell you how to do that there. I'm not gonna be mounting this one on the wall, um, but you do have that option. And of course, this is your product information here. So it's probably gonna tell you specs and all, uh, make sure it's certified, all that stuff nobody ever reads. You do have it just in case you wanna know. So getting to the sound bar itself, we'll go ahead and break open the plastic here. Pretty awesome. Made of a really hard plastic, but not bad at all. There's some extra plastic protection on the perimeter here that we'll take off, as well as this branding that is really on there. There we go. Awesome, 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 awesome. One more piece there. Cool. So pretty bland and simplistic on the front. You're gonna have your buttons here. We'll go ahead and bring you up there. There you guys go. So you have your buttons right there at the top. And you're probably not gonna be touching these very often. If you happen to lose your remote or maybe you're just closer to the time bar itself than the remote, then you maybe will use these. But you won't be using these very much, but they are there. You have your volume up and down. This is probably your source selector, direct to Bluetooth or power on and off. So you're gonna wanna do muscular controlling with the remote because that's where you're gonna have your vocal adjustments, your bass adjustments. You wanna do all of that there and of course you have your EQ presets as well. But other than that, it's a pretty bland face. I'm wondering if maybe there's an LED somewhere inside of the screen like a lot of other companies do. They put an LED maybe inside the mesh grill there. So I'm wondering if there is some of that. I would hope so because you do need a status bar to know what you're doing and when you're doing it, if it's doing anything at all. You do want to be able to see that. So I'm going to plug it up here in a little bit and see if it uh, powers on and what it looks like. Side here you're gonna see your keyholes that's gonna be where you're gonna be mounting your your brackets too if you're gonna use that for a wall mount you're also gonna see this is where you're gonna make most of your connections you have your auxiliary on the far left optical in the middle and then that's where you're gonna connect your power now if you guys notice on the side there and also on the side here you have a flared port and you have two of those on each end and what that's gonna allow you to do is get that more base that it's claiming on the box now I'm not sure if ten times more base is compared to their older model, but supposedly those ports are gonna help you a lot, especially for mounting it against the wall, because when you put those ports and flares against the wall, you're gonna reinforce that base. And I can't imagine this soundbar having a lot of base, but if you're gonna be putting it against the wall, you're gonna help reinforce that lower end, which may um, you may find that much, much more beneficial. So let's go ahead and plug it up and see what happens. All right, we're gonna plug it up for the first time. Here we go. All right, we got her plugged in. Let's go ahead and turn on the power and see if anything lights up here. There you go, you see that LED light there. You saw it flash right there in the very middle. So I was wondering if there'd be a LED status of some type and like there is there. So we're gonna turn the volume up, see what happens. You see that light kind of blinks when you turn it up. Let's see if it has any kind of indication of when it's max. So, okay, when you, get, when you reach max there, it blinks several different times. That means you've reached the limit of that certain control. And we can turn it back down as well. So if we turn up the voice, same LED. So it seems to have one different light for each control there. So let's change it to auxiliary. Looks like we have two lights. That's how you signal that it's an aux. If you change it to optical, it's just one light. Change it to Bluetooth, of course you get a blue light there that blinks. And I'm guessing it's going to blink until it's paired and then it'll turn solid once it's paired with whatever Bluetooth device you're going to be using. That's pretty cool. This is the mute status. Looks like the blue light continues to blink. Let's change it to auxiliary and change it to mute. So now the auxiliary lights blink when it's on mute. So depending on what input you are on, we'll decide what lights show up. And then if you meet it on that certain auxiliary, those lights will also blink when it's on mute. So we're gonna put it in movie mode. Let's turn it off of mute. 
we're in movie mode. So right now, I don't know if you guys saw that. That's actually a purple light that came on for a movie. If I change it to game, it's also another light that comes on. It's also the same one, the purple one. Change it to music, it also flashes again. So same light when you change your presets, but um, you do get an indication that you have made a change. So not too bad, not too hard to read. And that's the light for night mode. So a solid light stays on for night mode. I'm guessing it lowers the bass but enhances the vocals so that you can still enjoy your movies but you're not going to disturb anybody in your home or around you. So that's pretty cool as well, guys. So just to avoid this video getting too long, I'm going to do a sound demo in a separate video. I just want to give you an overview of what's going on with this sound bar, what it comes with, and what it can do. So stay tuned for my next video. We're going to do a sound test. I'll play some Bluetooth music, do some movies with it, see how it sounds, and I'll let you guys know about it. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you think this Poke Audio may be interesting to you, leave me a comment down below. How do you feel about sound bars, and do you think this one will perform well when I do the demo? Also, smack that like button if you enjoyed this video and my content in general, as well as subscribe to stay tuned for more, and we'll see you guys in the next video. K-Base Guy out.